Okay, so here we are, we're back. We're back with the Roast Rite. We're gonna be testing density and moisture content for these green coffees. As you can see on the board behind me, I've already started testing and I took the average of our Tambaya AB, Gatugi AB, Gura PB, that's a pea berry. So these are old coffees, 2018, 2019. 8.7, 8.3, 8.5. For those who know, specialty coffee should be between 8 and 12% moisture. Usually 10 or 11 is a really good number to be at. So these are quite low. Those are the density readings in grams per liter. So I have this little guy right here set to metric. The roast right is ready to go. We're going to finish with the Tambaya AA. So that's the other old crop. And then we're gonna compare some wonderful Gedeb Yurgachev from Saifa. This is a natural process. And then the same Gedeb Yurgachev from Saifa G1, but a washed process. And then behind me, we have the, the roast is warmed up, it's ready to go. So we'll be using a standard roast profile on these coffees. These are not 120 gram samples, but this is what I had weighed out before. So we'll be roasting up these coffees. And what I'd like to see here is when first crack completes, I wanna know the details. So after first crack finishes, you know, how long does it take to get there? What's that temperature? Is it crashing? Is it spiking? And then I'm gonna do a espresso roast and we'll get some of those details. So then I'll add a couple more columns here for our Yurgachev, although I really don't want to roast too much of those samples. Maybe I will. Espresso roast on beautiful G1 Yurgachev, maybe. And then we'll be able to test our roast analyzer. So the roast color analyzer with the big foot. That's the uh, other machine that I got. The RA7498, I forget the number right now offhand, but we'll be doing that together and stay tuned for more details. So let's get started first on this green coffee. I'm going to snap in here one second. Whoa, watch out. Great. All right, here we go. All right, so right now the machine is sleeping. It's got some cute little Zs going on. I'm going to hit enter, which will wake it up again. The type is green, and uh, I've just got a relative humidity here. It's kind of dry out today, 47 degrees, or 47% relative humi humidity, and 13.2 degrees Celsius. So I have this machine set to Celsius. This is the top and the hopper. So you use this top and the hopper. This is what we actually fill. We're gonna measure this amount of green coffee into the chamber. And earlier when I put it on the scale, it was around about 130 grams. So most of your green coffee samples, as long as you're getting 150 or more, you're going to have enough to complete this. So again, I can demonstrate that. We put this down and then we put the hopper on. What happens is it helps us to fill in the gap here so that we don't get too much. And then we can accurately measure just a full cup every time. If you just wanted to fill into this cup, you could also do that. That's no problem. So for the sake of demonstration here, let's look at the weight. So this is the Kenya Tambaya AA. For those who are familiar, AA is a measurement of size in Kenya. Uh, other African coffees use AA, AB, B, C as a measurement. So here we have our coffee. It's filled up to over that edge. And the only thing right now that I don't see is included in this machine is when I am going to lift this chamber up, the coffee is going to spill 
from the edges. So I have a little bit of extra coffee that falls out here. So then I just need to level this off. Okay, so it's nice and flat. You can get really precise with your flattening there. And then I use green. All right. So right here we have our type green. And I'm gonna hit the enter button to start, question mark. Start, do not move, preparing. Put hopper, all right, put on hopper, standby, fill sample. All right, so then we go ahead and do that. You just lift this up. measuring do not move so this is green number one i set this at green you can do roast cherry parchment okay that says 8.8 .8 at 730 grams per liter so i'm just gonna set i'm gonna keep this sample separate you can do two three four samples and uh, take an average of them So let's get one more sample here. If you have some kind of a tray to catch the coffee in, that is recommended. Now, for our green number one sample, we have the measurement 8.8, 7.30. If I hit this again, it's going to go to green number two, preparing, do not move. It'll prompt me to put on the hopper. There we go. Fill, standby. Measuring. I'm going to get this third one ready. Eight point nine seven thirty six. This is actually reading higher than it did last time. I'm really surprised. Last time I did this, the AA had a eight point five reading, but it's good maybe because it's been sitting out. Although green coffee changes slowly. All right, one more time here. Preparing, do not move. So this is how you would measure not just moisture, but green density. It's also taking temperature. Temperature could be a variable, especially if you, if you have coffee cherries, for example. Wow, 9.0. Okay, so now if I hit this return button, the settings button, it's going to give me the average of the three. So the average of the three is 8.9% with 730 grams per liter. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that on my board up here. Not that I have to put the camera on to see that. 8.9%, 730 grams per liter. Now, as you can see, all of these coffees are quite low. Down in the eights, again, is not ideal. That just means that they roast easier. Uh, they shouldn't crash as much as a fresh coffee would at first crack. These are some of the predictions. 730, 726, 749, 743. These are both Tambayas from a specific region and mill. This is a Gatugi and a Gura from a different region, the Othaya mill and cooperative. So 
these are possibly grown at a slightly higher elevation. Now, let's go ahead and look at the Ethiopian real quick. One thing when I first started using this and with all uh, density moisture meters, you can get a lot of dust, especially if your coffee's older, it's going to be more dusty. And so blowing that out, uh, brushing it out. And in the beginning when this machine was new, I think it might've had maybe just some in initial residue from, you know, from the factory, from when it was made. I don't know if there's oil or other residues in some of the surface materials. And so wiping it clean a couple times just helped me to get more accurate readings. I used it a couple times before making this video. All right, so let's do our, I grabbed the natural, let's grab the natural. So we'll do this natural gadab. This is a beautiful coffee. I love this Jurgachev Gadab Natural from Saifa. Every time Saifa sends me coffees, I'm excited because his coffees are always brilliant. And he does great work with the farmers too. Okay, so this one, I just measured it accurately myself. These beans are smaller, which is nice. So then it's quite easy for me to for me to fill them without overflowing. Okay, so I'm going to hit this enter and uh, hitting enter just helps me return back to green. So I can start fresh. Start question mark. Yes. So my average was already done from the former Kenya Tambaya AA. Here we go put on the hopper. can smell that natural fruity processing. It's beautiful. Okay, 9.2804 on the density, but we'll go ahead and take a couple more readings. I have a smaller sample of this, but you can measure the same sample two or three times to get an average. That's absolutely okay. All right, unit not empty. So this is what occasionally I get this uh, error message and that's when I clean it or wipe it and uh, then I get a good fresh start. There we go. Just got to wipe it out and then it says preparing, put on hopper. Green sample number two, and just for alternating 9.3 and 781. Do want to make sure I have it full. You know, if it's not completely full, that could impact some of your readings. If one reading is a little higher or lower, if it has more or less coffee, so it's good to be accurate. Put on the hopper. Try not to spill your coffee. It says measuring, do not move. Okay, so that one was 9.4 and 799. 
So our average is 9 9.3794. 9.3794 grams per liter. Now grams per liter is a density measurement because it's uh, how many grams are in a liter? And originally density was this concept of uh, displacement. Like when you throw a stone in water, then it displaces a certain amount of water. And the heavier, the more dense the stone, the more water it would displace. So that's where density came to be. This is a uh, Gadab Yergachev natural that's 2020 end of 2020 from the cycle okay so we're going to do a 2020 gadab yugachev washed recycle All right, so I'm just gonna do the same thing three times. If you wanna watch, go for it. If you wanna skip ahead, you can go. Hey everyone, that last video got cut off when I was switching from the Gadeb Natural to the Gadeb Washed, and I went to move my camera because it was on the other side facing, and I think it hit the button, the record button. So anyway, I was able to finish up with the roast right. I'm happy with this little machine. Power button on the bottom. Seems to be doing a great job. And um, I did get some measurements here for the washed. Okay, so there we go. Uh, you can see across the board the Tambaya AA 730 density 727 on the AB. Or uh, I'm backwards, 726, 749 on Gatugi, 743 on Gura. 794 on the natural Gadeb, 772 on the Gadeb Yurgachev washed. So the Yurgachev washed and natural were both a little lower on the moisture content than I expected. Um, we'll see. I'll continue to use the machine if it's, uh, you know, if for some reason it's reading some of these coffees lower, eight or nine percent isn't necessarily a bad thing if it's fresh and it's still tasting beautiful. So I've got the roast machine warmed up here. I'm going to do a bunch of sample roasting on these coffees. I'll try to do some screenshots and some feedback and uh, won't make you watch an hour's worth of roasting, but maybe a few of you would enjoy that. Most of you would like to cut to the chase and hear the summary. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video.